Hi there guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. My name is James and today we're going to go ahead and sit down and talk to you guys about the latest news in regards to a takeover at Reading Football Club. Now a bit of news has come out today. It's come from John Percy at The Telegraph, someone that can normally be quite trusted uh, when it comes to Reading Football Club news uh, or just really news in general. He did kind of get spun by William Story a little bit. Uh, so, you know, whether it's Pang feeding him lies or whether it's someone at Reading uh, feeding lies over to John Percy, we're not sure. But... Look, something has come out today uh, in regards to a potential takeover bid at Reading. And the news, uh, as I take from a tweet from Talk Reading, is that Reading are aiming to enter exclusivity talks by the end of the month, with Dai Young considering two serious offers, one of which is Geneva Associates. Sponsorship deals could cover, or sorry, should cover, March's £1 million uh, shortfall, so a points deduction is unlikely. Now, it's great news that a points deduction is unlikely. Sponsorship deals should cover March's £1 million shortfall as well, which, listen, I've got to sit here and say, if it is Select Car Leasing once again that have uh, supported Reading, I've got to say, we need to do something for Select Car Leasing by the end of the season, whether that's them coming out onto the pitch, whether it's an appreciation day, whether it's something... Something needs to happen where select car leasing need to get their dues. If it is them that have covered that again, a massive fair play. Now, one thing as well is the Geneva Associates uh, group are set to be sniffing around Reading once again. Obviously, uh, involved is Talel El Hamad, uh, someone that, you know, previously was with Wigan Athletic uh, and someone that, you know, at the start before funding was cut short, uh, was doing well with Wigan. He was focusing on youth. He was talking really a lot about how Wigan are going to move forward, even appointed Sean Maloney and then the funding cut. And then that's when they were forced to sell up. He was wasn't someone that was funding the club himself, but he was someone that made himself the chairman and was kind of the face of the brand uh, almost when it came to Wigan Athletic. I'm not going to be someone that's going to sit here and judge them just yet. Obviously, we've, uh, we're have we not really going to be a club that can pick and choose who they want to take over the club. Uh, as realistically, we're still in a desperate situation when it comes to getting rid of Da Young. That's the main important thing. And, you know, there's been lots of rumours about how with Nigel Howes, um, when he sits down with these people that want to take over the club, he's forcing them to show proof of payment. He's also kind of showing that uh, he knows the EFL in and out, right? Nigel Howes has been someone that was sat on the board of the EFL. EFL as well uh, and he's someone that will know the fit and proper test in and out so if you're going to pass the fit and proper test with Nigel Howe you're almost going to pass the fit and proper test with the EFL as well which I think is quite important and you know I've read something today about how clubs need to prove that they've got at least two million pound uh, sorry two years worth of funding uh, to be able to run the club and you know if that's something that Geneva Associates are able to produce and if that's something that they're able to have that's going to be great going forward for Reading realistically what we need right now is stability and that's something that's going to be really important for the future of running football club especially in the near future as stability is something that needs to come going forward but big news really in regards to future uh, potential takeovers uh, obviously it is geneva associates and one other bid that has uh, been confirmed that there that Dai young's really weighing up his options for Again, if he's weighing up his options, is Dai Young really looking to sell the club as quick as possible? That was a quote that Nigel Howe had yesterday. Uh, again, I still don't believe that in the slightest. I uh, still think Dai Young is looking to uh, drag it out as long as possible. Uh, is Dai Young Pang someone that, again, is still trying to drag out and maybe look to try and scale the last little bit of money that they can possible out of this football club? I do think so. Now, Wickham Wanderers owner as well, uh, or chairman, should I say, has come out with an interview today, Rob Kohig. Uh, he was on another podcast, at least a Wickham podcast, uh, and he's come out with a few quotes that were quite interesting. He said, in this past week, the Reading fans, or at least a small portion of them, have caused issues. I don't know if it's causing issues, but it's been an uncomfortable situation. This is an interesting one. I feel bad for us because it would have been the right step forward as a club. He feels bad for a club that we're looking to vulture off another football club. Something as well which was just stupid. The keyboard warriors that go out and charge off making ludicrous statements. When you see people putting stuff all over the gates of the stadium, they've limited our ability to sell tickets to Wembley in some ways. It's just frustrating. That's not the reason we're doing it, but it's a reason. The whole atmosphere has got to be a bit much. They've already cost their club three points. I like the fans, I really do, and I understand their anxiety. 
one bit for me there is very confusing is that he's cost the fans have cost reading three points already now i would just like mr kohig to uh to elaborate on that already as reading haven't cost our club three points at all this season unless he's talking about games where the fans weren't back in the team for 90 minutes but yeah we've not cost our club three points at all there's a suspended three points deduction looming over Reading's head over the Port Vale game. So I don't know if he's got a little bit confused there in his old age and, you know, has got that mixed up. Uh, another thing as well is he spoke about how Reading have made it an uncomfortable situation and the keyboard warriors uh, go out and they've charged off making ludicrous statements. Again, crazy to say that when people are trying to save this football club and Wickham Wanderers were like vultures around dead meat and they were trying to pick off the bones at Reading Football Club, saying that people were putting stuff all over the gates at the stadium as well. Listen, if they're scared of a couple of stickers, at least we know that going forward now. I think either way, it's going to be a very tasty game next season if Reading are able to survive and stay in League One. Reading Wickham will definitely be more of a rivalry game than the Oxford game this year, or even the Swindon games. I mean, look, realistically, Wickham have created this rivalry and their ownership have. There's nothing really against the fans. The fans aren't going back and forth at each other really too much. There's a couple of kids and teenagers and stuff that do it. And a couple of people in the comment section that, you know, are looking for a reaction. But look, realistically, Reading and Wickham will be a very, very tasty fixture next season. Now, that's going to be it for today's video. Obviously, we spoke about the potential takeover, so that'll be very interesting. And then, the, obviously, the quotes from Mr. Kohig. Again, very interesting. That's going to be it for today's video though guys. Thank you very much for watching. Fingers crossed now we'll be getting across the line very soon. I don't expect to make a video tomorrow as I don't think there'll be too much news. If their points deduction doesn't come, obviously I won't make a news, uh, make any make any uh, video should I say on the news. But if there is, probably going to have to see my face again. But that's going to be it for this video today. Thank you for watching. And yeah, fingers crossed we get uh, near the end of this, uh, this horrible situation Reading have been in. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.